Hello, my name is John Cashier-Rice. I am the Principal Trainer on the NLP Master Practitioner. And in this video, what we're exploring is, why would you take an NLP Master Practitioner? What are the benefits? And what to look out for in an NLP Master Practitioner training to get the most from it? This is a first video in a series of videos on A, helping you decide whether taking the NLP Master Practitioner is right for you, what to look for in the courses, as we just said, and then the following videos are all about how do you prepare yourself ready to take an NLP Master Practitioner. It's an exciting journey, worth doing, I would say. Now, so, why would you take an NLP Master Practitioner? Good question. All right, so it's about mastery. It's about taking your NLP skills to the next level. So what is it about an NLP master practitioner done properly that does that, that creates that mastery? It's what I consider to be the NLP modeling project. And this is what you want to be exploring for taking an NLP master practitioner is what and if the organization does a modeling project. Why? Well, We've said NLP has come from modeling human excellence. With the idea if one of us can do something, we can all do it in our own unique way. So if you can come up with your own models, A, you have an opportunity if you want to, to contribute to the field of NLP. Or maybe you want to write your own book on a subject that with original content. Maybe you want to design a training program. Maybe you're working in an organization and you want to take your, maybe your top salespeople, your top managers, model what they do so you can pass it along and create a unique program that creates leaderships. So it's all very exciting. Okay then, so some organizations won't do an NLP modeling project and their master practitioner consists of more techniques which is great fun, I love, the NLP master, uh, I love the NLP master practitioner and I love the practitioner. The danger of that is the master practitioner becomes a continuation of the practitioner, which is wonderful, but you're just learning techniques. You, you come across this process where you're just learning more and more advanced of the same kind of stuff. Well, that's not mastery, is it really? You really have to own it. So let's have a look at some of the different ways organizations do the modeling project. Now there are some organizations that will do a passive modeling project. And what I mean by that is this, you watch the trainer, who is hopefully skilled at this, you watch the trainer model somebody. So they'll normally bring somebody in from the outside, they could be famous, not famous, but hopefully good at what they do. And then you sit there and you watch the trainer model that person, and you get to ask some questions. So there's a little bit of interactive. That's what I call passive modeling. And it's okay. It's interesting, but it doesn't create mastery within you. The trainer might get a little bit better because they're engaged with the process, but it doesn't create that mastery in you. In you. Okay, so hopefully that's not particularly what we're after. So let's go to the next step. The next step is where you get to see the trainer model something, then you get to do it. And that normally takes a day, maybe two days of a master practitioner. And what I mean by that is what you'd normally see done is what is great fun, a board break, a karate board break. So the trainer would do a karate board break. You then model the trainer, i.e. you're asking questions and take on their physiology, etc., etc., and then you do a karate ball break yourself. Like I say, it's a lot of fun, it's worth doing, and you can create a whole breakthrough session with that. And like I say, it can take a day, two days of a practitioner. You've, at least you've engaged with the process, but it's not mastery yet. Now, we include the ball break in our master practitioner as a bit of fun because after you've done what I call a full-blown master uh, modeling project, you get to do a karate ball break. A, it's fun, you get to smash through some wood, uh, we do some goal setting processes around that. So how do we really truly become masters at this NLP? It's what we call a full 
NLP Master Practitioner Modeling Project. And not every organization will do one for many reasons. Uh, I can't speak for other organizations, but I do know from a trainer's point of view, there's a lot of work involved, a lot of support, and a lot of feedback given, and it can become kind of almost one-to-one -one mentoring through each person on the group. So is that commitment to getting you to that place where you're truly excellent. A full NLP modeling project pulls together your NLP skills just like nothing else can. So what do we mean by that? Okay, so let's explore the overview of doing a full modeling project. So first off, you need to decide what you want to model. Now, for example, if you said to me, I want to model public speaking. Well, that's been done. There's courses on public speaking, there's books on public speaking. Just go and do it. Somebody's already unpacked that process. Let's do something that you can't go on a course to learn, that you can't read a book to learn. We want something new and fresh. So for example, if you said to me, I would like to model charismatic speakers. Now that sounds more exciting. Let's model charismatic speakers. So the first thing we need to do is define what you mean by a charismatic speaker. Then we need to define what we mean by excellent at charismatic speaking. And that takes a little bit of time because we need to unpack that meaning so we know exactly what we're going to model and how we can then target people for modeling. Okay, then you're going to model four people who can demonstrate that charismatic public speaking. Why four? And why not just one? Well, if you model one person, there's a likelihood that you're going to pick up personality stuff. And it relies on you having that personality to be able to be a charismatic public speaker. OK, then. But if we model four people, there's a good chance they'll all have different personality types. And hidden amongst that, if we get rid of all that kind of personality, we should find a core model for charismatic speaking that should work for the majority of people. Now, we also want to mo model three people of excellence and one person who's good. Now, why three people of excellence and one person who's good? And the person who's good still needs to be able to be charismatic, but not to the level that we decided on. Now, here's the reason being is that all four will have a lot of similarities at the core model. And that's what we spend a lot of time is learning that core modeling process. So they have a lot of the same things going on. Personality wise, different, but core model the same. But the person who's good will have some bits missing. And that's the difference that makes the difference. That if we added in those bits, they become excellent in their own right. Now we're gonna model all four people. And I will tell you, mastery takes time, energy, and focus. So you need a commitment of time. It can take up to six months worth of working on this. Um, and I say six months, not continually, but six months of, you know, if you're working full time, you can, you know, you can only do sort of three or four hours a week um, devoted to this excellence processing. I'm being realistic with you. If you really want to become a master at this, it's going to take a bit of work. Yes, we do all the unconscious processing and all that wonderful stuff, but mastery is about taking something to the next level. All right, so, so you've got the four people. The write-up, you're probably going to write maybe up to five to six thousand words. So what you're going to do, you're going to write up each of the models. You're going to distill that model down into a universal model. Then you're going to install it on yourself. So make sure it is something you really want. Install it on yourself and install it on somebody else. And you need to write up what's happening around that. So when you present it to me, we have templates that you'll be able to use that help you with the process. We're going to give you a lot of support because I know that if you truly want to master your NLP skills, the modeling project is where it's at. And yes, we'll do the karate ball break because it's a lot of fun. It only takes a day or two. The modeling takes a lot longer. It can be two, sometimes three 
modules of the whole course to get you to that point. And at the same time as we're learning those skills, you're learning some of the advanced NLP tools. Very exciting. So in my opinion, if you want a continuation of the practitioner, find somebody who doesn't include a modeling project. If you're just kind of vaguely interested, but would just kind of like to sit there passively, find an organization that does where you watch the person model. If you would think to yourself, well, I don't particularly want to put a lot of work into it, but I'd like to do a board break, find a company that does the modeling as the board break. But if you're truly excited about this field and you would like to master it, so you have ownership of it, beyond being able to label things. I'm talking about being able to utilize it in your everyday life, whether you're a manager, a therapist, any walk of life to truly master and you want to contribute something significant to the world, then you want an organization that does a full-blown NLP modeling project. And it just so happens, we do. So, what I'd like to, if you are thinking about it and this has interested you, please do contact me. Email, email me at john at nlpcourses.com and let's get together and chat before you make that commitment to move forward. Let's talk, make sure it's right for you and that we're right for you. Any questions, do let me know and in the upcoming vi video series that we've got on this topic, we're going to talk about how do you prepare for a master practitioner. So if you've already committed elsewhere, those other videos are going to be very exciting for you because we're going to talk about what you need to do to prepare to take an NLP Master Practitioner. Okay, hopefully I'll talk to you soon. Take care then. See you soon.